I, I promise. So we were approached about um, with the COVID that we live in these days. Um, we have a emergency procedure uh, that has been updated um, beginning this year that is actually far easier for the voter um, and our office. Uh, but with that said, um, one of the things that we have always done is allowed an advocate on election day to come and sign a form to pick up the balloting materials for an individual that is, let's say, hospitalized um, uh, that happened after the deadline and to get them about so that they can vote. Um, the request was, what happens if um, contact tracing occurs and somebody um, has been, um, let's say, is in quarantine for the 15 days and this, they find out after the um, application deadline. So they had every intention to vote in person. They are now quarantined because of COVID. The request was, can I get an emergency ballot and can I have somebody come get it for me? My thing is, I have all the forms in place to do it. I just need the board's approval to, to do that before election day, because we have always only done it on election day to allow advocates to come in um, to do this. And then with this COVID, I would ask that we possibly allow that to occur anytime after the application deadline. So the application deadline is October 27th. So this would affect October 28th um, up until and including election day that we would allow someone to serve as an advocate. And there is a, a specific form that they would have to sign that would allow them to pick up and then deliver somebody else's ballot. Do they receive a written notice that they've been in contact or is that all done verbally? Do you know? To that's us? something they could show? Yeah. I mean, honestly, for us, we, when they're requesting the emergency ballot, we just take them for their word now. Before right. it used to have to get court approval and, and they have just made that so much simpler. We don't even have to have the form notified. On, no, right, sorry. For us, Honestly, if somebody goes through that whole procedure and they want to sign and, and they do the declaration on the page, uh, the reason for us, I don't know, do we need to know? I, I mean, I, I can say that on election day, we don't question it. If somebody comes in as an advocate, they say they're in the hospital, we don't require proof. If they have, let's say, a, road, uh, uh, a work trip that occurs at the last minute, they just find out we don't require proof. Okay, what's your pleasure, board members? I'm good with it. You, you know, is that, is that a motion? Yeah, I'm, uh, well, I was, I, I didn't know if Commissioner Litz uh, wanted to move it or not, but. I am, um, I, you know, this is kind of new to me. Um, I'm, oh, I wish I had more time to think about this. Um, what the ramifications might or might not be. <laughs> Yeah, your commissioner's schedule wasn't inclusive a lot for my election schedule, just so you know. This is your last meeting before the election, so it was kind of like I had to throw it all here today. So, uh, and I can tell you, it, this actually came from um, both representatives have questioned me about this. Both uh, Representative Diamond and Representative Ryan's um, offices had asked and reached out. This is actually what generated this Um and I, like I said, I was okay with doing it. I just didn't feel like I had the authority to do this without it being approved by the board, unless it was election day. Um, and so they, with, with what we live in, in, in COVID, I, you know, you don't know if you're going to, if you could have every intention to vote on election day. And honestly, I don't want them to go to the polls if, if they're systematic, you know, if they're, you know, uh, in quarantine. So I, I really think this is the best way to do it. Uh, have people do this emergency procedure and, and have them have an advocate on their behalf uh, do everything for them um, and then keep them away from our, our poll workers uh, on election day. So I would encourage you to, to, to vote for it. Um, and I understand, I wish I could give you more time, Commissioner, um, but that's kind of where we are with, with your schedule and my schedule at this point. Uh, clarify for me, are they giving you a written, signed, dated statement to this effect? That they are that they received official notice that they should be in quarantine. Oh, I did not. So it's basically their word. They're signing a 
they're signing an application, emergency application saying that um, they need an emergency ballot for whatever, and then they list their reason. So um, they are putting it in writing. Yeah, but I, there's no proof. I thought that's what you were asking me. I apologize. There's no, they don't have to prove to me the reason is legit. We just accept it. But they are giving you a written uh, notice that they were notified about being in quarantine. Yeah, that would be the reason. Yes, they would say that they're quarantined and that would be the reason on their application for an emergency uh, absentee ballot. All right, thank you. And I'll make- Would you like to second the motion? Yes, I'll second Commissioner. it. Commissioner. All right, all right. I have a motion and a second to approve uh, Michael's plan to uh, deal with uh, COVID emergency cases uh, uh, and allowing them to vote. Uh, are there any questions or comments further? Hearing none, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion is uh, uh, opposed. Motion is approved, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just two reminders and I'm done. I'll be out of your hair. App uh, registration deadline is Monday, October 19th. Uh, that means that they have to be here by five o'clock that date. Postmarks do not matter. Uh, so if you have not registered, please do that uh, here in the office or votespa.com. Those are really the only two options at this point, unless you already have the application in hand and you want to make sure you mail it, but you have to have it Monday. I, I, I can't stress that enough. The application deadline for absentee mail-in ballots is Tuesday, October 27th, one week before the election. Uh, once again, I encourage anybody that is thinking about doing a mail-in or an absentee ballot to do that application sooner than later. Uh, I can tell you right now from what we're seeing with the, with the mailings um, is that there is no possible way that I can mail you a ballot and you'll be able to mail it back to me in one week. Um, they do have that extension at this point, but I, you know, that, that's subject to, to court ruling. So uh, October 27th, uh, application for absentee mail-in ballot October 19th for registering to vote. Uh, and just so the, the board knows, we are very quickly hitting, getting close to 92,000 registered voters in the county. Uh, we have added a lot of voters in this cycle, which is good. Okay. All I right. Have, I have a comment if I could. Um, sure. 